Hi everyone, welcome to tonight's live, where tonight we will be talking about Miss Chrissy Teigen and her problematic deleted pedophile-like tweets, all right? So thank you for listening and watching. Welcome to today's live, tonight's live stream. Um, before we get into the video, the topic, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am available for personal readings. So if you would like a personal reading, check out my website. The link is right here, lamartownsandtarot.com. Once you have reached this page, you know you are on the right website, okay? This is my website, and you can purchase your reading directly from my website. Um, you can go to the Schedule Now button and schedule your reading with me. Also, of course, make sure you f go down to the bottom of the page and follow me on my Instagram, where I post a lot of makeup looks and psychic tarot-related and astrology stuff as well. Um, also, make sure you check out my store section if you would like a personal reading, and you can directly purchase your reading from my store section. All right. Um, and yeah, so that's my website. And I would love to do a reading for you. We would love to have you over at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Also, make sure you all follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my TikTok. All right. This is my TikTok. The link to my Instagram and Facebook is scrolling that way. So I am active on all my social media platforms. And also check out my second channel on Vimeo, V I M E O.com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot. And also, lastly, if you would like a personal, or if you guys would like live readings, it is $10 for one question, 20 for two questions, 30 for three questions, so on and so forth. This is my Cash App. I do prefer PayPal, but I also do like Cash App, and I do also accept Super Chat. So before we get into that, though, we will be doing the reading on Chrissy Teigen. So um, let me go ahead and post the PayPal link. Thank reading. you, everyone, for being here. Make sure you all like the video. Um, and if you're new to my channel, of course, make sure you subscribe and um, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get all notifications. Make sure you hit all notifications so you will get all notifications every time I go live. All right, so with that being said, a couple things we have to talk about before we get into the reading. One of them being Chrissy Teigen. All right, that's the link to the PayPal. Make sure you guys like the video. Thank you all for being here. So, hi everyone. Hi, Taisha. Hi, Monica. Second, third. Waiting for the psychic with the T. Yes. Hi, Kinks and Curls. Loving that color on your lips. Thank you, Monica. Hi, Lamar. Hi, Keza. Thank you, Kinks and Curls. Yes, this was a very sexy lip, sir. So excited you're live at the perfect time for me. Yes, thank you. Hi, Kinks and Curls. Been waiting for this tea. Yes, SS. How are you? Looking sultry, Lamar. Thank you, Keza. Hi, Diana. I've never liked that woman. Yeah, I never liked her either. Now I know why. Curious if or why she was on that island. Mm. Hi, Cynthia. So let's talk about a couple of things. Before we get into the video, let's talk about my lippy and my lipstick. Lately, I have been not wanting to do too much. Um, I have on my Lancome foundation. I have on some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrows, a little mascara, and I created this lip using my Morphe. As usual, I use my, as usual, I use my Morphe, um, lip or no my morphe i actually primer on my lips and then i use my urban decay lip liner and then i use my actually two face palette to put color on my lips i use my two face palette to put color on my lips and then i put on of course my favorite lip gloss essence so this is my lippy for today now let's talk really quickly you guys because I actually have had a troll come to my Facebook page um, a couple days ago uh, from the Naya Rivera reading. Now, every time I post it on my Facebook page and my YouTube, this person would, like, get really upset that, and call me disgusting and ugly because I'm reading on Naya Rivera. And I said something on my Instagram about it, how, like, I was getting, you know, a sudden influx of trolls also because my channel is growing as well. So, like, as 
your your channel grows, more trolls come naturally. But I just want to say to the trolls that I don't argue with you all. I'm I'm not the type of person to argue in general. I'm a Libra moon, so I'm a lover, not a fighter, right? Um, but I'm not an arguer. You have to understand that I am a professional psychic, a professional tarot reader, a professional astrologer, and a professional energy channeler. That means this is my business meaning I run my business myself. I don't have a manager. I don't have an agent. I don't have, you know, a producer or anything like that. This is my one woman, one man show, right? So as a professional psychic and tarot reader and energy channeler and astrologer, I don't argue with people. I don't, you know, fight with people in the comment section. Sometimes I'll cuss you out every now and then, but I've grown from that and I've just learned to just delete your comments and move on and block block you. All right, I was about to say something, but then I caught myself. So as a professional psychic, you have to understand that it's bad for businesses too to argue. It's bad for business to go back and forth with a troll. But what is good for business is to use witchcraft. Okay, so as a professional psychic, I don't argue. I, I, I use witchcraft, okay? So I just wanted to make that known, you know, that if you were looking for an argument from me specifically in the comment section, you're not going to get it. You're probably just going to get some form of, you know, backlash from some sort of witchcraft that I'm doing, you know, because I do do witchcraft on my channel as well. I'm a white witch, so I do good, you know, only witchcraft, right? But just to warn you, all right, like I'm not one that fights, you know, but I do fight back in a different way, just saying. With that being said, let's get into Chrissy Teigen, honey. Can Okay, so before I even get into that, let me say this. Y'all, let me see what the girls are saying, though, because I don't know what you guys are saying. I am drinking some hot honey tea right now. That sounds so good. I really want some shaved grass tea. I need to buy more. Yeah, the trolls have been coming out, honey. Hey, Mercedes, Yelamar doesn't even care when the trolls come here. I don't. That troll needs to get a life, period. Yeah. If they're hating you doing something right, new levels, new devils. Screw them. They just, exactly. Yes, just address it and then move on. Don't waste time on that type of energy. Vampires is what they are. Thank you, Trey. Thank y'all. Oh, you're following me on Instagram, Monica? So you probably saw that story I posted. It's crazy conspiracy theory. Maybe there are people that don't want the truth to come out and they are paid to harass channels like yours. Glad you can protect yourself. I thought about that too, Sarah, actually. Evil eye behind you protects you, Lamar. Thank you, Diana. That's true. Oh, my God. I love your lipstick. Thank you, AK. So just to like let you guys know, whenever I do these lippies, it's not lipstick, actually, which I love. You know, I love that you guys think it's lipstick, but it's eyeshadow. And then I set a base before I put the eyeshadow on. And when I set the look, I can actually just leave it with the eyeshadow on like you guys have seen. But I usually like to set it these days with some lip gloss, honey, because it makes it pop, pop, pop. Okay. So enough, enough. We need to talk about Chrissy disgusting Tegan. So, okay, before I get into Chrissy Tegan, I just want to say this. Do you like Glossier makeup? I've never tried them before. What do you suggest from them? Yes, it's so shiny. Purple is my favorite color and you are wearing it, honey. Thank you, AK. Okay. So I just want to say that I am absolutely disgusted and I'm so just done and I'm over it hearing about all these disgusting pedophiles. Now, even though I'm over it and I'm just disgusted with hearing about it and all these different people being alleged pedophiles. By the way, this is all for entertainment purposes, allegedly, okay? I'm happy that they're being called out. That's what I'm happy about. Even though I'm so tired of hearing about it in the media and on the internet, I am glad that it's being called out. You know, I'm glad that, you know, people are being called to the table. But Chrissy Teigen has posted some very problematic tweets lately. Um, and even in her past, you know, like, alluding to ped pedophilia, you know, like I, I can't even give you specific examples. Actually, maybe, let, hold on, maybe I can actually find them really quickly. Chrissy Teigen tweets. Because I, if I can find them, then I can show them on, oh yeah, I, I think I found one. Wait, no, that's not a tweet. Oh, let's look at this one, y'all. This one is a mess, honey. All right, hold on. I'm going to show you just one tweet that 
like this is probably the only tweet you need to see that to, to be able to tell that something is not right here, right? Like there's clearly something wrong with Chrissy Teigen that we need to do a psychic reading on. You know there's something wrong if I'm on here with a slightly beat face, right? Okay. So I'm looking for, I can't find it. Hold on. Does this go by? Oh, there it is. Okay. So look at this, y'all. Okay, look at this one over here. Seeing girls. I'm going to make it full screen. Okay, this one says seeing girls. It's kind of cut off by my my logo right there. But this one says seeing little girls do the splits half naked is just, I want to put myself in jail. Toddlers and tiaras. This was something she actually tweeted back in two, uh, 2011. Let's see if we can find another one. I don't know, I can't find another one. But you can tell like just from that tweet alone that that is like really disgusting. Who says that? Like who says that? In 2011 of all years, like, <sighs> so I'm just, ugh. Anyways, what's going on with Chris, Chrissy Teigen, and why did she do those tweets? What do they mean? Is she a, an alleged pedophile? I don't know. Let's see. What's going on with Chrissy Teigen in her situation? By the way, before I get into this video, I just want to remind you that this is all for entertainment purposes, allegedly. Okay? So let's see what's going on. Oh, before we actually get into it, of course we need to say a prayer, honey, because this is, this is some dark-sided stuff, huh, child. Okay? <clears throat> not feeling it. All right. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past readings. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on Chrissy Teigen and see the truth about her. Thank you for closing any portals once this reading is done. All right. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Thank you, Father God, for just allowing this live to be truthful, uplifting, educational, lighthearted, and protected with your loving kindness. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I just had to set the tone in my energy because I just already don't like the energy of this. But let's go ahead and see. Okay, so what is Chrissy Teigen's specific background story? Like, how did she get into Hollywood? Was she an actress or something like that originally? Or what's going on with that? Because I think there's something where, oh, she was a model. Okay, she's a, oh, well, she's a model. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. How At what age was she a model, though? Because I see something about the age of 14. I think something happened to her around the age of 14. Some things may have happened to her prior to that, but something happened to her around the age of 14 because I see her as a young girl looking at her body and looking at her boobs and like maybe looking at her 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 butt. And it's just like, it's kind of weird to me. Like someone at that age shouldn't be worried about their body but i don't know i see something about her as a young girl it's like she was she wanted bigger boobs and she like so it's like some it's almost like at a young age she was competing with older women 
which makes me think, was she allegedly molested? Was she allegedly touched or something like that at a young age? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. Oh, she's 5'10", child. She's taller, almost taller than me. Girl, wow. She's tall. Okay. Yeah, I think something may have happened to her at a young age. So I think that it's like almost like she's making fun of it. You know how some people like have that, you know, they experience tra traumatic situations and it's like they kind of, uh, they kind of, what's the word? They dismiss it by making fun of it. You know, ah, ha, ha, ha. Like, you know, I can laugh at, it's almost like laughing at their pain, you know, like something like that. That's what I see. So I think that's kind of what she was like, going through was she was laughing at the pain she went through connected to pedophilia you know things along those lines that's what i see especially if she was in the industry at a young age because i feel like there's something at a young age where i don't know why i feel like i could be wrong i could be in a i don't know i could be a conspiracy theory but i don't know why i feel like there's a slight energy of her being trafficked at a young age I don't know what I mean by that, but it like, I don't know why it feels like there's something with her mother too. Like almost like her mother was a madam for Chrissy or something like that. I don't know. I'm feeling very weird energy about it though. But it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, like a child star or a young child is groomed for, um, is groomed. I feel like she was groomed. That's what I feel like. So I, it's almost like making fun of her pain. Um, but she is also allegedly involved in some dark stuff too. Like, you know, when you get to a certain level in Hollywood, you know, in the, the industry, you know, we talked about this before where you get to a certain level in the industry and um, there's certain things you do to maintain power. You know, there's certain things you do to maintain youth. That's kind of what I feel like Chrissy Teigen may be invo involved in as well. And I literally keep hearing trafficking. I literally keep hearing trafficking, so I don't know if that means she's involved in that now or if she was, once again, allegedly involved in that at a young age. I don't know what that means. But I do think something happened to her at a young age, and I think she, a lot of those tweets was a way of, like, a laughing at her pain. Like, I don't know why I see her looking at toddlers and tiaras and it's like, you know, she's kind of like laughing at the girls internally. Cause it's like, I don't know why I feel like she went, she went through something similar like that. Like a toddlers and tiara moment. She had like a, a, a stage mom or a stage parent that, you know, twirled her around and, you know, uh, showed her off like a, a show pony and stuff like that. And if, she, you know, she was showed off to creepy men, then, you know, if it gets the job done, then, you know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. A lot of models are into trafficking. Ooh. She was a swimsuit model. A lot of abused children internalize their abuse and become abusers. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's with her mom though? Cause it's almost like Christy Teigen is a is like a become a splitting image of her mom, like how her mom was with her when she was young. I think maybe her mom played either knew stuff was going on or played a blind eye to what was going on. Do her and her mom have a good relationship or no? 
Does anyone know what's going on with that? Because when it comes to Chrissy's children, I don't know. I feel like John Legend actually, I don't know why I feel like Chrissy has this thing where she like will push her kids to the, in, like the limit to their breaking limit, but John is the one that steps in every now and then and is like, no, you're not doing that. No, they're not wearing that. No, they're not doing that. They're not going to that meeting. Like, they're not going with that person. Like, you already know, you know, that that producer, that director, you know, is, is shady as F, you know, like, that's what I'm seeing. Like, I do think John is protective of, I mean, I think Chrissy loves her children. I think John loves, they love their children. But I think Chrissy has this like kind of fame bug or something like that. Or low-key addiction to fame. That's what I feel. Her mom lives with her. Yes, she was always with her mom. I think she lives with them. Oh. Her mom is around 24-7. Mm. Sounds like a stage mom. She's very close to her dad. Her mom always on camera. She posts the videos with her. She's that, 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 I think. Okay. Her parents are divorced. Allegedly, Lamar. Yeah, this is all alleged. John knows who he married. She does that to John, too, like extremely bossy and messy. you right. Oh, she's thigh and white. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... Her Christy is a splitting image of her mom in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like it deals with Christy's parenting of her own children. I think Christy's mom as at a young age pushed Christy to like past her limits, I think, sometimes. But she learned to just accept it or go with it. Some things came with the price of fame, I think, or something like that. Or the price of being successful, the price of being beautiful, blah, blah, blah. That's what I feel. So I think that's how, like, Chrissy parents her children, especially her daughters. It's almost very Kardashian-like. You know how, like, Chris Kardashian, or was it Chris Jenner? Chris Jenner, um like sexualizes her daughters like you know uh courtney and chloe and kim kylie when they were younger even and kendall that's what it feels like low-key if we want to talk about it kim kardashian low-key sexualizes north but that's a whole different topic you can be mad at me in the comments if you want all right whatever i don't care um it's kind of that energy i'm getting like i don't know in a lot about her children like i feel like Maybe they're too young to really, you know, take advantage of that aspect, allegedly. But I could see Chris, Chris, I want to call her Christy. Christy doing something like that with her children. Like, you know, because I see a daughter, one of her daughters, like, maybe come step in her, like, step in her mom's, her, her mom's feet or her footsteps or something like that. That's what I feel. So to me, it feels like Chrissy is a very much do whatever you have to do to get the job done or to get the job or to get where you want to be. Because that's how she was taught to be. I think she's had her own experiences with maybe allegedly, you know, abuse in the industry. All right. Um, do we have to really be super fearful, like, of her, for her children, like, extremely? No, I mean, I, no, I feel like she's actually a good mother. You know, I do feel like... But it's just certain things about her is like business wise, shady, a little bit shady. Mother wise, as a mother, I think she's actually a good mother. I do see that. I have to call a spade a spade, you know. That's what I feel. Does that make sense? Yeah, make sure you guys like the video. Thank you.
You're getting too good at makeup, Lamar. Oh, thank you, Taisha. I appreciate I've been watching a lot of videos. Of, I like watching drag queens do makeup. I've learned, I think I learned more from drag queens than I do beauty gurus. So I really like, like, if you ask me, uh, like, who's my favorite beauty guru, it would really take me a hard time to come up with one I really like. But if you ask me who's my favorite drag queen, beauty guru, Kim Chi. Um, I really love, I actually really love Crystal Method, Jada Essence Hall. I love India Affairs. Like, I could go on and on and on. So, I learn a lot from drag queens, actually, myself. I love, what's her name? Valentina. Oh, my God, Valentina's amazing. Yes. I'm starting to like Naomi Smalls, too, actually. I love Monet Exchange. For her personality more so. I mean, she does good makeup, but okay. Sorry, I'm back in the. I'm back. I got carried away for a second. I thought that just like the Kardashians, that's what I feel. I feel like she's like Chris Jenner. That's what I. That's why I feel like Christy. I feel like Christy had a Chris Jenner mom, and Christy's turning into her mom. That's what I feel. Like she endorsed that stuff exactly. How do you become and remain a Sports Illustrated annual swimwear model? Mm. Chrissy's going to make her children compete with the Kardashian children in a few years. It's going to be a battle. She has two full-time nannies. Girl, I live for Valentina. I love Valentina. She's, like, so pretty. You would look good in drag. I was going to say that next. I low-key want to try drag. But I don't know. I do like sewing. I don't really like wigs too much, but I mean, I think she's a Sagittarius, which makes so much sense with her personality. Mm. Have you ever thought about getting your makeup professionally done? Yes. But I want to learn how to do it myself. I don't want to pay anyone to do it. I don't think I'm big enough to have like a, a team of people. I'm getting there, but like, I don't know. I'm the type of person where I would have a makeup artist, but I want to learn from from you. Teach me, bitch. Teach me how to beat my face. That's what I want to know. So I would use my makeup artist almost like a teacher as well as a makeup artist. And I do want my own makeup palette eventually. Like I want my own makeup, I guess, brand. I think I want my own makeup brand. F having a palette, uh, I want a brand. Like, I want to be, you know, a brand. Well, I am a brand, but you know what I mean, right? Kim Chi is so good at makeup. She's so good. I, Kim Chi is amazing. She's probably, like, the best drag queen I've, I've seen that's really good at makeup. Who else is really good? Oh, you know who I love? But he's not a drag race, drag race queen. I wonder if he watches my videos, actually. But Luscious Massacre, I love Luscious Massacre. Too. I love him. Would love to see him on Jack Race. You would be amazing as a drag queen. I feel like I would too. I just need to find my look. Someone's been using their eyelash curler. Yeah, actually, I haven't been using my eyelash curler. I need to start using it more, but I did put on some mascara. I'm pretty sure she's doing magic. I love Luscious. Me too. Um, is Chrissy doing magic? Yes. I don't know why I see, like, she could participate in something, like, ritualistic as well, pertaining to the industry, um, that could be, a uh, could be associated with Pedogate uh, as well, Pizzagate kind of situation, but I don't know if it's, like, anything to do with, like, oh, like, Sex, sexualization of children. It feels more so something allegedly satanic. Allegedly. That's what I feel. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing satanic. So I don't know what that means. I don't care. I'm kind of disgusted. I think on that Epstein Island, they were doing some sort of rituals, too. Like, I don't think it was all... I think I've said this before. I may have said this in the Epstein reading. I don't think it was all, like, a party, you know? Like, I think there was, there were certain things going on there. 
There's a reason why a lot of these big name people were going to that like island. And it wasn't just like pedo gate. Well, kind of, but in different ways. Not always sexual based. All right. That's what I feel. So take that for what you will. There was a ritual picture of her and John. Where? I see it for you. We would love a palette from you. I would love a palette. But I do want my own brand. Like, you guys know how I do my lippy. I would want a palette where you could use it as, like, and it would be marketed as you could use it on your eyes, but you could also use it on your lips. Like, I kind of want that formula, you know, where it's, you can use it on your eyes, your lips. You can use it for eyeliner. You can use it to fill in your brows. Like, that's the kind of palette I want to make. Don't steal my ideas, bitches, okay? By the way, I'm going to do some magic on it to make sure it's not stolen, okay? That's what I want, though. I love Luscious so much. We love you, Luchuchus. Has any has John been helping her with eating humans? I think, yeah, he might allegedly participate in it. I mean, he's famous too, right? He has some fame to maintain as well. Give me a second. I have to go charge my um. I have to go charge uh, my camera battery. <laughs> Drinking their blood. Spirit cooking. Yeah. How is she doing all the rituals but barely successful? I mean, I don't know. I feel like she's actually pretty successful. She may not be, you know, successful in the public eyes, but public's eye, but I feel like she's she does get booked for things. That's that's what I'm feeling. I feel like she gets booked for things. I feel like she's booked. Will John ever divorce her? Um There's a possibility. You know what? Their relationship to me feels kind of very like Jada and Willish. Will and Jada ish. Allegedly. All right. John Legend is my birthday twin, December 28th, but he always gave me weird vibes. Oh, he's a December 28th Capricorn. Interesting. I'm December 27th. When an interviewer asked them where was the best sex they ever had, Chrissy said Obama event. And John chimed in and said it was before he was president. What was she talking about? Um, I don't know, but I think it was a series of sexual escapades they had. Whatever they're talking about, it was a series of, like, sex, sex moments, I guess. That's what I see. The girls want to battle, honey. The girls, the girls, the girls. Yes. I can ignore it too. Just trying to spread love to a fellow cap. Good night, everyone. Enjoy. Okay. Christy just seems like someone who just never shut up. I don't mind her, but sometimes she comes up as annoying. I agree. Multi-purpose, exactly. She said in an interview she would eat, eat human. I mean, she probably does that now. That's like what I think I'm alluding to. There's a French band called Rougie that just put a lip eye powder out, palette out just like that. You should look it up. Ooh, Rougie. That's what I want to do, though, you know? Because that's what I do. So thank you for that, Sarah. Some adrenochrome, maybe, exactly. But she used John for a come up. That's successful. Exactly. She got lucky. Isn't Will Smith a Libra? Yes, I think so. So, okay, you guys, that's what I see about Chrissy. Um, what questions do you guys have? Because I'm going to move on. Will she continue to be successful? Let's see. I mean, she knows everyone's watching her now, watching her every move. I don't think this is not going to not follow her. I think the conspiracy, the conspirators of the internet are on her ass. 
So they're going to be looking for every little thing, every little symbolism they can to pin her down. So that's going to follow you, Chrissy. Um, I don't know why I see a movie for her. A movie? Maybe she's starring in a movie soon. Um, but I also see the potential loss of jobs. So she may actually lose some jobs over these tweets. Sponsorships, endorsement deals, something like that. If not these tweets, maybe other tweets or something else happens where, like, there's a possibility of losing losing jobs, losing deals, something like that. So I think she's going to, she's going to, like, um, I think she's going to, um, this is like a wake-up call for her to some degree. So I feel like she, she's going to, like, become more spiritual. That's what I see, too. So... Does she really love John? Yeah, I feel I feel so, yeah. Tamar Braxton. What about her? She's gonna be another video. Is John going to get in trouble like Chrissy? No, I feel like John's record is pretty spotless. He's he's involved in some in some shady stuff, but he's very PR trained. So John Legend would never, you know. I don't think he has he ever tweeted. I feel like he. It's, there's something about PR and tweets. Like I feel like he he's very PR trained. People are going to get karma for doing magic to get more famous. That's true. Lamar, I'm not able to post your links tonight. My laptop is getting being being repaired. Okay, that's fine. She did cookbook series. Oh, she did. Is Chrissy connected to the White Bear conspiracy? I don't think so. No. Thank you for reminding me. Um. By the way, if you guys want live readings, I'm doing live readings after the video or after this topic. Will she ever stop being annoying? Um, no. Will she be pulled from targets? I think Target will always work with her in some way. I don't know why I feel like I see dinnerware or like something with that. Like I feel like she sells well at Target, so... They may keep her for a little while. But, okay, do you guys have any more questions? Because I'm going to move on to the live reading portion. And then I'm going to sign off. Okay? Mm hmm. I just want her to go away. <clears throat> well, if she gets canceled, she will cancel herself. So. All right, you guys, I'm going to move on. Thank you all. Um, does Chrissy like black women? Um, I mean, I don't think she has a problem with them. Does she have a superiority complex, maybe, to some black woman? Probably, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I think someone sent a donation to my cash app. Thank you, SS, for your donation. Remember, you guys, if you guys want a live reading, it is $10 for one question, 20 for two questions, 30 for three questions. I do prefer PayPal, um, but I do also accept Super Chat and Cash App. This is my Cash App. All right. So if you guys want a live reading, go ahead and send your donations. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Sierra, for your donation. What is your question? Is Sierra here?
Oh, wait. I'm, like, confused. Yeah, is Sierra here? Because now you just sent, like, two two donations. So, thank you for constantly carrying me energy with stuck in your past reading. In Jesus' name, I pray. And thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. So, is Sierra here? Um, if not... Thank you, Sarah, for your donation. Can Sarah and Sierra ask their questions? I'm going to move on to SS in the meantime. Thank you for your donation, SS. When I asked you about my dog that had passed, you said he was going to reincarnate as a human. Can you tell me everything on that? Why? Why is SS's dog reincarnating as a human? I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of perspective he could bring to the world coming from his dog life into his human life. Um, so I feel like there's also something karmic with him where he, I don't know, gets to experience life as a human. I feel like it de deals with something with his throat chakra. That's what I feel. Um, I see him as a boy, and it's interesting because he also will have a dog that like will some somehow be prominent to his life as well, and he'll have like a deep connection with animals. So that's what I see with that question. And what was your second question? Wow, you guys are donating a lot. Jesus. Thank y'all. But oh Lord, I'm not trying to be on here all night. Okay. Will SS, SS's dog reincarnate into her life or, or into her family? Thank you for your donations. Mm. I don't know if he's going to reincarnate in, in your life. I don't feel like he's going to reincarnate in your family, unfortunately. But you may cross paths at some point, I feel. Um, I feel like, I don't know, he's going to be a man of few words, and he's going to be very connected to animals in his next lifetime. I don't know. I feel like you may know of him, like you may cross paths, but I feel like in his next lifetime may not be make such a prominent role in in your life or vice versa that's what i feel so okay let's get into sierra's question did that make sense sierra i think you sent a donation for two questions so please send your question um your next question and sarah can you please ask your question as well Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stack. When you pass reading in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Should Sierra talk to Drew? She feels bad for ghosting him. Should Sierra talk to Drew? He acted very human. That's why it's funny to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is Sarah here? Hi, Glamorous. Should Sierra talk to Drew? She feels bad for ghosting him. 
Thank you, SS, for the $2 tip. Um, probably not. I mean, I don't know. If you, I don't think you're interested in him like that. So, I feel like he wants you more than you want him. So, I mean, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't think he has bad intentions. I just don't see you being as interested in him. So, I don't know. I feel like he would be open to meeting again or like meeting you. So, if you do decide to go, you know, talk to him again, I would just apologize for ghosting him. You know, um, you know, and figure out either whether you want to tell the truth or give an excuse as to why you did it, and you know, maybe offer to meet him again. If not, I would say let it go because I don't know if you're really interested in him like that. Did you have another question? Um, did you? My questions are above AK super chat in the feed. Okay. Where? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. Can you repost it? Because I don't see your questions. Maybe it's YouTube or StreamYard's fault, but I'm looking and I don't see any of the questions. Yeah, I don't I don't see the question, so can you repost it? When will Sierra's health get better? When will Sierra's health get better? Thank you to everyone who's donating. I feel like you need to rest more. Um, you need to speak words of positivity into your body. Pray, meditate, cleanse the energy around you. I feel like all these things will facilitate in your healing. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you, but you're, I don't know if it's COVID related or what, but I don't know why I'm here in quarantine. You may need to rest for like 14 days or so, like or it may take up to 14 days for you to recover from whatever this is. That's what I feel. Um, but you definitely need to rest, and I feel like you are you may be at a period right now where you're contagious, or you may be going into a period of being contagious, so I do feel the need to, like, kind of quarantine, basically. So let's get into Sarah's questions next. Does that make sense? Hi, Jason. It seems like some of y'all get really mad that I don't, like, say hi. But I, I can't, I don't know what to do about that, you guys. It's, like, too, too, too much emotion for me. It's not that big of a deal. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stack for me past reading. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, let's get into Sarah's questions. Why is that first question? I didn't I didn't get your first question. It's probably a word you're using or something like that. But I didn't I don't see the first question. Let me go to YouTube, maybe. I don't know. Like why is it not posting? Oh.
Mercury retrograde is like so annoying lately. Okay, should I confront my brother about lying to me? Should Sarah confront her brother about lying to her? Should Sarah confront her brother about lying to her? But then I should have let you get somebody's ass. Does this deal with money? Or something job related? I don't know why I feel like this is money related or something like that. Or something missing about something missing. Jesus, there are so many of you donating. Gosh. Oh my God. There's going to be so many readings to get through. Oh gosh. Okay. Stay in your center. Stay in your center, sis. Yeah, I felt like it was money related immediately. So, like, I'm getting a lot of money cards here as well. So I would confront him. There's something about missing money. Like, where's the money? That's what I see. I feel like you need to confront him about. I do. I would say confront him. I feel like confront him, and you may end up at some point getting the money back, either from him or just from spirit. Spirit in general. That's what I feel like. You probably already made it back by now, anyway. But I would confront him. Yes. He says I owe him money. I don't owe him money. Never did. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I would say confront him about it. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm just going to roll through all these super chats real quick because a lot of y'all are donating for super chats. So let's get into AK's question. Thank you for cleansing me and clearing the energy of the stuck when you pass reading in Jesus' name. I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, I get into the program that I'm trying going to apply to. Well, I can't get into the program that she's going to apply to. I should know that you got somebody else. I can't even You need to put some good energy behind this. You need like a candle or like some sort of spiritual manifestation work. That's what I feel. I mean, I feel like you'll get it, but you need a push. You need a spiritual push behind this. So you can either do it yourself. I do candles. I think you know that. I think we've worked together before behind the scenes, you know, for personal readings and stuff. Or maybe not. I don't know at this point. But you need some sort of, like, push behind you. Like, so you can do that on your own, like I said. Or you, it's up to you. But um, I do see you eventually getting it. But it, it, I don't know. It's like the energy is kind of off. This could be your thoughts, your feelings about it, you know, um, like if you really want it. But it's like the energy of you don't think you deserve it or you like your question. It's like something like that. So you need to work on the energy behind the, your manifestation because the energy is off. Will AK do well in nursing school without any problems? Will AK do well in nursing school without any problems? Will AK do well in nursing school without any problems? Um, I mean, I feel like there's a possibility for you to be fine, but you need to stop being so hard on yourself. Definitely stop comparing yourself to others. And just, like, kind of, you know, keep in your own lane, you know, focus on yourself. Um, and just hustle. I think you'll be fine. I mean, I think there's going to be some, 
you know, hiccups or some trouble moments, some, you know, troubling moments, but I think you'll be able to make it through them. It just takes belief in yourself and, you know, um, dedication and ambition. So I think those are your main points that you need to focus on, staying motivated, staying ambitious, even when it gets hard. Like, I feel like you can sometimes be your own worst enemy. So that's what I see about that. And another question. Thank you for your donation. Let's see. Okay, make sure you guys like the video. Thank you again. Yeah. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stuck when you pass. Reading in Jesus' name, my friend. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. What do AK's ancestors want her to know the test out that I'm going to take on the 20th? What do AK's ancestors, what does the ancestors want me to know of the test that I'm going to take on the 20th? Okay. Hi, Viola. How are you? Thank you for being here. What do the ancestors want her to know about the test she's going to take on the 20th? You're over. Th you may be overthinking. You may be over worrying. Like the best, the best thing for you is to prepare. Prep proper preparation prevents poor performance. So I think if you go in well prepared, you'll be fine. Eat a good breakfast, study, and try not to overthink. Literally, I don't know, AK. I feel like you can sometimes be your own worst enemy a lot of, in a lot of instances. So you have to learn to work with yourself. Like I, I you know, does that make sense? Like, you've got to learn to work with yourself and your energy and, and work with, okay, I'm feeling bad about this. I'm feeling like, you know, I'm going to fail or I'm worried about it, but I'm going to keep moving forward anyway because I believe in myself and I know I have this ability to doubt myself. Like, you need to work with yourself in that way, almost like being your own life coach, your own pep talker. That's what you need to, like, start doing. You see, so you're, like, second-guessing yourself a lot. Okay, that's what I feel about that. Let's move on to Heather's question. Does that make sense? Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stack when you pass reading in Jesus' name, my friend. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. All right. My mom passed away a few years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that. She wrote me a letter to read, but when she passed, but my brother took it and won't give it to me. Will I ever get my letter? Wow. Will Heather ever get her letter that her mother wrote her from her brother? Will Heather ever get her mother the letter that her mother wrote her from her brother? Mm. Okay, so I don't know. I'm immediately cluing in on the energy. What's your relationship between you and your brother? Do you are y'all like fighting or something like that? Because yeah, I don't know. This one's definitely like. I'm wondering if y'all fought or if y'all had a tendency to fight. Maybe didn't like each other at the time or something like that. I almost feel like he did it to be petty. But I don't know if he's ever actually read the letter. I don't know if it's stored away somewhere. I feel like it might be stored away somewhere. Because it's like, I don't even know if he actually knows where it is. That's what I feel. So will you ever get it? Um... I don't know. I mean, I feel like eventually, but it'll be like, I don't know why I feel like the letter is stored away and then your brother will have to dig to find it, which would cause you to get in contact with him somehow and be on good terms with him. Because I don't know why I see him like being very petty about it. Like, I'm not going to look and find it for you. Like, I see something like that. We have had a bad relationship since she passed, and I figured he did it to be petty. What did she want me to know? Um, I don't know. Did you have, like, a will or something like that? Did she leave you money? I feel like she left you something. 
and maybe e either you've gotten it already or it's enclosed in a letter. Other than that, I feel like she pretty much told you she loved you. There could have been something mentioned about your father as well in the letter. Um, but that's what I feel. But yeah, I feel like he stole it to be petty. He stole it to be petty. Oh, she left you money. Okay. Yeah, I feel like she left you something. So one of my questions got skipped, but it's okay. It's just weird vibes tonight. Good night, everyone. Okay. I mean, I didn't know your question got skipped. I think you ordered it in such a way where you put you put number two first, and then, so I, yeah, I think that's why I got confused, but I mean, I agree, the energy's off, let's get into your second question, sorry for skipping it, didn't mean to do it on purpose, I think I may, like, have to do something about these live readings, because I don't know, like, <laughs> Y'all are interesting. Okay. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stuff when you pass reading in Jesus' name, my friend. Thank you. Amen. 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 I don't know. I may have to set it up where it's like, okay, if y'all want a reading, get a personal reading because I don't know if I'm always going to want to do these live readings. They're kind of getting exhausting. No shade. Love you guys, though. But. Okay. So, Sarah's second question is, I've went off at work. What's my manager's response going to be? What is Sarah's manager's response going to be to her going off at work? Whatever it was, I feel like you couldn't take it anymore. I feel like your um, boss is going to hear what you have to say. If there's other people involved, I feel like they're going to be pulled into it as well. I feel like something's going to be done about it, but you're going to need to, like, mind your temper next time. Um, that's what I feel. But I feel like well, what, whatever this is, it involves someone else. Like someone else angered you or something like that. So that's what I see with that. Okay, after these super chats, I'm moving on to the PayPal's, y'all. What messages does Kim Spirit guys, what messages from Spirit about the guy I keep dreaming about? What does Spirit have to say to Kim about the guy she keeps dreaming about? What messages does Spirit have to say to Kim about the guy she keeps dreaming about? You're welcome, Heather, for your reading. You guys do know, by the way, I don't have to do these readings. Like, I don't need the money. I don't have to, like, I'm not owed to do these readings for you guys. I do it because, I don't know, I know some of you don't want to get personal readings or you can't afford them. So, this is a luxury for you all. I, I don't need the money, per se, just to let you all know. So, please be patient and just be mindful of that, okay? I appreciate the money. I appreciate the donations, but I don't have to do this. You know, keep that in mind. So what messages does Spirit have for you about this person? Um, I don't know. Is this someone you know? Because I see a King of Cups here. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be an Aquarius, to be specific. Um, I, this could be related to the father, the past, karma. Could be related to your career to some degree. Um, I don't know why I feel like there's something about this person if they are in your waking life and you know them Like on a personal level. I feel like you should be we're we're weary of them 
Something about them feels untrustworthy. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. I don't know, like, something about the guy feels untrustworthy. So I would just keep that in mind. I, pre I really appreciate it. Take your time. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome. But yeah, I don't know. Someone is like, it's a very sheep and wolves clothing kind of energy, I feel, regarding this guy or whatever he represents in terms of your dreams. Does that make sense? Let's move on to Heather's question. Thank you for cleansing and creating the energy of the stack when you pass reading. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Will Heather and her brother ever have a good relationship again? That's a good question. You're welcome, Kim. Oh, I get the devil and the ten of swords. So you guys would need to, like, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. A lot of blaming, a lot of things that have not been said. Even if you two do have a good relationship, you know, working relationship, there's going to be intense arguments, probably, ups and downs, just from the energy I'm picking up. That's what I feel. There's probably someone in the chat with bad energy. Let's, I don't know, let's say a prayer really, quick, really quickly, y'all. Thank you, Father God, for removing any negative energy in this chat. Thank you for surrounding this chat and this live with your loving kindness. If there isn't anyone doing evil eye, doing any black magic, or sending any, any negativity my way, the chat's way, um, if there's anyone even in the chat, in the name of God, that has this energy, remove them, remove their energy, and send it back to sender. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. That's probably what it is, y'all. It's probably a hater. Whatever. All right. Anyways, well, you and your brother, I, I do see you and your brother, like, working towards having a, a better relationship. Are you older than your brother, maybe? I see something like that. Lamar, your gift is very much appreciated, but sometimes you got to keep it transparent, and I adore that about you. Thank you, Angie. Yeah, you got to keep it a buck sometimes. You got to keep it real. It is what it is. But that's what I see with you and your brother. I do see you, like, having a better relationship. But like I said, there's going to be ups and downs. You're going to have differing opinions sometimes. I think it's about learning to work together, learning to, like, agree to disagree with you and your brother. I also feel like y'all have y'all both have like differing opinions or views or perspectives about the past. So it's like you could have your perspective and your brother could have a totally different perspective about the same event. That's what I feel like. So it's gonna take some while to get to a point where you're okay, but I do see I don't know why I feel like within two years, you and your brother will like have a better relationship. That's what I feel. Let's move on to the super or the PayPal's, you guys. What's that Kaya song? There's a hater on the line. I feel like that's the energy I'm feeling. Okay, so once again, the questions aren't coming up on this phone. So um, let me go get my other phone so I can see y'all's questions in PayPal. And one thing I've also learned when it comes to being a YouTuber is that people are very fickle. So I purposely don't get attached to anyone in the chat because I know, like, 
You could be here this month and gone next month. That's just the nature of this business. So, I mean, I don't know, you guys. I love y'all, but sometimes y'all just act really funny. It's like very turn offish. Terrell, what's your question? Because I don't see that you asked a question. Is Terrell in the room? I love how you feel all the energy in the room. Of course. I sent it cash up. Thank you, Clinette. Thanks so much. I've been so stressed about this situation, and it helps to hear that there's hope. Thanks for your time and energy. You're welcome, Heather. Thanks so much for a good reading. You're welcome, AK. Okay, Terrell, I don't see your question, so if you could ask your question, that would be great. We're going to move on in the meantime to Josh. And I don't see Josh's question here either. What is with PayPal not putting their questions on, on, in here anymore? That's so weird. I don't see Courtney's question. Okay, let me Google why can I see PayPal notes. Let's see. Maybe a solution will come up. Can't see PayPal notes. Twenty twenty. That's so weird. Yeah, thank y'all. I'm just trying to figure out why they don't do that anymore. Like, they used to put the note in the thingy, but now it's like... They don't. Oh, okay. Got you. Who is Beauty by Stephanie? Okay, let's see. Josh asked the weirdest questions. Like, these, like, weird questions. Okay, wow. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stuff when you pass readings in Jesus' name, I pray. And thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Stephanie says, first time here, love your bluntness. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I, did you ask your two questions? Maybe you didn't put your questions in the note because I'm like looking. I'm like, why isn't her questions here? Um, Yeah, ask your two questions, uh, Stephanie. Thank you for your donation. Okay, Terrell, I got your question to show up. Um, Let's see. How is my first love doing? He's been on my mind for a while now. How is Terrell's first love doing? Have y'all got? Have y'all heard the Utada Hukaru song called First Love? It's so beautiful. I don't know what she's saying, but apparently it was like her first major hit in um, Japan. I think. I think she's from Japan. We love you, Josh Lottie. Right. Just the things he th like. Who thinks about these types of things? I don't know. I, everyone's mind doesn't work like mine. I've learned doing YouTube as well. That's okay, I guess, you know. That's the beauty of the world. How's your first love doing? He's. I, I feel like he's been thinking of you, too. 
When you say first love, I'm assuming y'all were together, but judging from these cards, I don't really, I can't confirm that really. So could you confirm that? Were y'all together? Or was this just kind of someone you had a crush on? Because there's something about someone's sexuality, not wanting to come out, not wanting everyone to know your business. That's what I feel. It's either him or you or both. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I feel like he's doing good. Um, you two may reconnect at some point, but I don't know if you you will reconnect for like a, a relationship. I don't necessarily see that, but I do feel like he's thinking about you too. That's probably why you're thinking about him. Um, that's what I feel. He's doing good. He's just on his journey of life, trying to figure himself out. That's what I feel. But I do feel something about his sexuality. So I don't know. Is he out of the closet or what's his situation? That's what I feel. That's funny because I'm watching Memoirs of a Geisha now. Okay, let's get to Josh's question. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck when you pass reading in Jesus' name. I pray thank you. Amen, amen, amen. You guys, doesn't the energy in the room feel different? I think I think there was a hater in the room. I think there was there were evil eyes in the room. But I don't know if it was like I think it may have been a combination of someone in the chat that was talking. Someone may have gotten mad, maybe, and then I think there was just probably a hater in the room, like who's low key hating. But I do feel that energy. But I feel the energy going back to them. So I think it's like good. I think we're good. You're going to learn how to like, I don't know, like you're going to learn with energy. I don't know. What you send out comes back to you. So just be careful with that. Oh, no, you were. He was in the closet. Okay, yeah, because I felt that kind of energy. He's It's definitely different now. Yes, it was probably Christy Fan who was hating. Or, or maybe it was Christy herself, honey, to be honest. Just kidding. Okay, let's get to Josh's question. Josh says, my imagination is all over the place. We know. All right. Josh wants to know, it, did his mom lose her virginity to her dad or someone else? Did Josh's mom lose her virginity to her dad or someone else? This is what Josh wants to know. All right, let's see. Mm. Actually, you guys, I think I'm going to keep doing the lives. Fuck the haters. F the naysayers. F the evil eyers. I'm just going to keep doing these lives. I really don't care. I'm thinking the done other days where I would let the energy affect me or the haters affect me. Fuck you guys. Like, seriously. I'm going to keep doing me. Period. So, I'm glad that I just had that revelation. That was nice. All right. Let's keep going. Did Josh's mom have sex with anyone other than her dad? Or did she lose her virginity to anyone other than his dad? Let's see. I just started looking at your videos. Thank you. Um... I don't know, like, I don't, like, I feel like, I don't know why I feel like when she, the first time she had sex, she got pregnant, so I feel like she lost her virginity to your dad. Yeah, because I see she got pregnant, like, either with you or one of your brothers or sisters or something like that, so I, yeah, I don't know, I feel like she lost her virginity to your dad, that's what I feel.
she maybe did stuff before, but like that's what I see. Because I feel like it didn't take your mom long to get pregnant. F the haters, yes. Evil eye protecting the chat, exactly. That's what I feel. Does that make sense, Josh? If she didn't, don't tell your da dad, child. It, that's what I feel, though. I mean, I feel like your mom... Um, I feel like your mom got pregnant very easily the first time she had sex. So, I mean, unless she had a miscarriage, honey, or... But I see the baby coming through, so I don't think she had a miscarriage. Like, I think the baby was born. So, that's what I see. All right, let's move on to Courtney. And then we're going to move on to... Um... Stephanie, and then if you guys have any last minute questions, you can donate. Now that we've gotten the energy a little bit more balanced and like chilled out, like I think I'm in a better energy space, all right, where like I can do a little bit more readings if you guys want to donate. Otherwise, I am out, okay? So let me post the link one more time. I post the PayPal link. This is my Cash App. I do also accept Super Chat. So if you guys have any last minute readings or questions, send them now or forever hold your peace. Courtney wants to know, feeling lost about career, eventually want to stop doing... Okay, let me see if I... It, like, goes away. I'm going to have to call PayPal about this, seriously. I'm going to have to call them and figure out what is this about. But it cuts off your question. I can't see your full question, Courtney, so if you could ask your question... Again, I don't know why it, re it literally won't show me. You know what? Maybe if I log into PayPal, it'll, I think maybe if I do it on my computer. Let's just do that. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, okay. Now I can do it. Now I see it. Okay, so I don't know if I cleanse the cards. Let me cleanse them one more time, just to be on the safe side. And while we're at it, let's just cleanse the energies real quick again. All right. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stack when you pass readings. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this room, Father God, from any negative energies, any lingering energies, any evil eye, black magic, negativity, hexes, curses. Remove it and return it back to sender. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. So, Courtney's question is... Feeling lost about career, eventually want to stop doing gig work as full time, as a full time. But not sure what's next for me. What's next for Courtney in terms of her career? Oh, thank, okay, thank you, Clinette. Yeah, for your donation to my um, Cash App, I think. Thank you. What's coming next in terms of Courtney with her career? What's coming next for Courtney in terms of her career? I don't know, I see you work still working like a um I don't know maybe like part time, like a part time job. I see you like you may still work in an office, but I feel like you will work under someone. I see you working under someone. 
almost like possibly shadowing someone. I don't know if you're this person's assistant or like what, but I see you. Animals, I get the animals card for you. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. Let's pull one more card for you. Time to decide. So you need to make a decision either way. Make decision. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. So I don't know. Maybe you don't know it. You know on what's on your heart in terms of what you want to do, but it's like. I don't know. I see you having a transition job that is, is going to be more part-time based or you can set your own hours based, but it like, I don't know if that's going to be your mainstay either. So it's like, you need to go on the journey of finding what is your heart, soul desires. What is your life purpose connected to money? That's what I feel. It's an inner journey. You need to go on to figure out the answer to that. I do Instacart right now. I love animals, but I don't really know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I see you working in an office. And I think, like, I almost feel like you could be, like, a secretary or, like, um, what do they call it? Someone who greets people. Um, and, like, books, meetings or, for people. Or, like, I see you doing something like that. I don't know what it's called, though, but I think someone in the chat may know. You know, people in the doctor's office or a lawyer's office, like, you know, it's like you have to sign your name and they book appointments. I see you kind of doing like a receptionist. That's what it's called. But I, like I said, I don't that would be like a transition job for you while you find what you really want to do. Because I think you just need to find what you really want to do. Like, that's your thing. And that's just going to be an inner journey that you take on your own. Um... That you're going to have to take that on your own. That's what I feel. I used to work on a sales assistant for Fox. That was my last official job before I started doing gig work. Yeah, I don't know. I see you doing more like receptionist type work. Like, I don't know why I see you being like almost like a, um, a assistant or something like that. Like, that's the role I see you being in. Okay. Thank you, AK, for your donation. Let's get into Sarah or Stephanie's questions. Okay, thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stack when you pass reading in Jesus' name. I pray and thank you. Amen, 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 and amen. I've always sent spirits, but lately it's been a lot more. Who is around me? What are they trying to tell me? Okay, so is that one question or two? Did that make sense? Um, it's Courtney. Who is around Stephanie? I'm just going to kind of separate this into two questions because I think you donated for two questions. But I don't see two questions here so first one is who is around stephanie what spirits and energies are around stephanie thank you lamar so i have some thinking to do yeah because i don't know if it's in me to like tell you what you should be doing i don't think that's what spirit wants for you spirit is kind of saying you need to figure out what you want to do like, he can't tell you. Like, literally, that's what I see Spirit saying. Like, he can't tell you. Like, you need to figure it out. You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. So who, what spirits and energies are around um, Stephanie? But I see, like I said, I see you could have a transition job as you figure that out. That's, like, a little bit more stable but also more flexible. What spirits are around um, Stephanie? I don't know. I'm not seeing any right now. I think you just easily pick up on spirits. You easily pick up on energy. Sometimes these energies and spirits linger around you. I think that's what's going on. You could also be having a spiritual awakening. I th yeah, I think that I think you have this uh, gift, and I think you pick up on energies, you pick up on spirits. So I think some of them linger, because I don't see anyone specific. Although I do see a, the emperor. This could be a man connected to work, maybe an energy, a spirit connected to your job, your career. Could be your father, a father figure, someone on your father's side of the family. That's what I'm feeling. 
Other than that, I think you are some sort of energy channeler. You have some sort of gift that you haven't honed quite yet. Because I get the Page of Wands, um, which the pages are you're in the process of learning and honing a skill. All right. So um, Wands is fire. All right. So um, hmm, that means burning through things. That means burning through the veil. So, yeah, I think you pick up on spirits. That's what I feel. You need to protect your energy more, Stephanie. Your energy is not protected. That's what I feel. So when you go in spaces, you just automatically pick up on like everything. What are these spirits trying to tell you? What are these spirits and entities and energies trying to tell Stephanie or teach her? And then after Stephanie is Clinette, and then AK, and then I think donations will be done for the night. Child, this was an interesting live. Christy, honey, I, I don't like your energy. I don't think I'm going to read on you again. Well, maybe not for a while. I'm not going to say never. Child, if I have to read, I'm going to read, right? But you know what I mean. If I don't have to, girl, you are on the block list, sis. I just don't like the energy. And I feel like she's going to be mad that I did this reading. But whatever, it's my job. Don't tweet. And we won't read. All right. Um, they're definitely telling you to set your boundaries, your energetic boundaries, or at least that's what it's trying to teach you. That's what I feel like they're in, these spirits are indirectly trying to teach you. Obviously, they're not directly teaching you it because they keep kind of overstepping your boundaries, your spiritual boundaries. So once again, you need to set boundaries. There are no spiritual boundaries in place. When I don't know if you pray, but when you pray, pray for it, surrounding yourself with um, a white light of protection. Um, always pray for protection. Um, pray for protection over your home. Things of that nature, because you pick up easily on energies. That's what I feel. You're psychic. You're an intuitive. You're an empath. You could be all of the above. I don't know why I feel Pisces energy, watery energy with you. So that's what I'm feeling. I feel like it's teaching you that you need to assert your boundaries, but also it's teaching you that like you have a gift and this gift is opening. And as it opens more, it's going to like get more prominent to you. That's what I feel. Does that make sense? Because that's what I see with that, Stephanie. All right. Thank you, Father God, for closing the portals connected to the Chrissy Tegan um, reading in the name of Jesus. Thank you for sending that energy back from where it came as well, Father God. Amen. Sometimes y'all just got to pray it out. A family that prays together stays together. All right. Aquarius, yes, makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the second when you pass reading in Jesus' name. I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. Make sure you guys like the video, by the way. Thank you all for your likes. Thank you all for just being here. I know this live has been a hot mess a little bit, but it is what it is. We made it through, right? Sometimes train wrecks can be fun and interesting. Let's look at Clinette's question. So I don't see your question in the cash app, so I'm assuming you put your question in the chat. Let's see. So your question is, will my new friend and and will my new friend and turn into a relationship? So I'm assuming you're asking, will you and your new friend turn into a new relationship? Will Clinette and her new friend turn into a relationship? And then after Clinette is AK, will Clinette and her new friend turn into a relationship? <clears throat> hmm. Will Clinette and her new friend turn into a new relationship? Hmm. 
It's interesting you said train wrecks can be fun. Five, I've dated train wrecks and I had a ball. Shameful, but true. Exactly, bonjour. By the way, hi, how are you? It's nice to see you. But yeah, train wrecks can be fun sometimes. Okay. Will Quinette and her new friend turn into a relationship eventually? There's something about scheduling conflicts, time conflicts, so I don't know if now is the time, a good timing for you two to get together. I see like the possibility of it maybe in the future, but I feel like the timing is off for both of you. Meaning maybe you want it right now, but he's not quite there yet. I feel like he could get there, but the timing is off here, all right? You're not both in the same place. One of you is not, one of your, one of you is living a life or, you know, is living such a routine where it doesn't even allow for a relationship to really thrive. I feel like that could be your friend, all right? So that's what I'm seeing. So if you want something to happen, I do see the possibility for it to happen. The timing is off, so you, you're going to need to be patient and wait for the other person to reach to where you are, where they want to be in a relationship. Because I don't think they're quite there yet. That's what I feel. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm glad Bonjour came in and could give us a little bit of comic relief. Comic relief is always appreciated. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this document. Past reading in Jesus' name, I pray. And thank you, many, 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 many. Let's see. Will AK buy her own house? Will Will AK buy her own house in two years? Will she be able to buy her own house in two years? Will AK be able to buy her own house within two years? Let's see. I don't know why I feel the energy that like within two years it will be actually a good time to buy a house. <clears throat> so it's interesting that you use that time frame. Let's see. I should do a reading on the housing market or the economy again, like an updated reading. I think that would be good. I think I would want to make that its own reading, though. I don't think I would want to make that a live. I'm going to actually write that down. That one needs a part one and a part two. Okay, will AK be able to buy her own house in the next two years? Yeah, I feel like in the next two years, it'll be a better timing for buying a home. So I would say definitely save up your money. Um, you it like It's almost like you're going to have to save up your money for a rainy day, AK. You may not see it now, but in two years, you're going to be like very happy that you'll have more spending room to buy something new or to buy something really good for a good price. Or a cheaper, a cheap price is actually what I'm seeing. Because I see you getting a good deal, and it's like I'm almost like a steal. Like, wow, I can't believe I got this nice house for this price. So I would say definitely save your money. Because um, the more money you save, the more spending power you'll have in the next two years. And then I see I see you closing a deal maybe around um, uh, February or March, or March or April. Anywhere from February to April of next year or the year after that. That's what I feel. Or it could be extended to 2023, February or March, would, would, but that would just still be the beginning of that year. So not too far off, but that's what I'm seeing. Does that make sense? Let's go ahead and cleanse the cards one more time because we just did a whole bunch of readings. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space. Thank you for cleansing the energy of this deck from me past reading. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Wow. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, I think the energy was a combination of probably some haters. What is that Kaya song, y'all? There's a hater on the live. 
like when is that song at? Because I want to sing it. But um, I think it was a combination of haters, and I also think there's something planetary going on too, y'all. Actually, I know we're coming out of a Mercury retrograde, but there's like, did someone just donate again? Okay, donations are closed after this last donation. Let's see who donated. There's a hater on the line. Okay. Um, I'm like looking to see who donated, but it's not coming up. Okay, Stephanie, let's see if you put your question. It's definitely planetary. That's what I feel. I feel like there's something planetary going on as well. So, okay, last question for the night, and then I'm signing off, is Stephanie, thank you for your donation. Let's see if you put your question in the, in the PayPal note. Hopefully you did. Let's see. And you didn't. Can you please ask your question, Stephanie? <clears throat> There's a hit on my life. Let me sing it to you one more time. I don't know the words. Ain't gonna stop my back. Y'all just gonna be mad. Ain't gonna stop my back. Y'all just gonna be mad. Gonna stop my okay. Let me stop being silly. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stuff me past reading in Jesus' name. I pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. And amen. Are we coming into a recession? Um possibly. I need to do a reading on it. Lamar, I just sent you a payment for one question. My girlfriend and I are participating in a money-making opportunity. Do you see this working out? Will this money-making opportunity that Bonjour is participating in work out with her and her girlfriend, her friend? Will the money-making opportunity that Bonjour and her friend are participating in, will it work out? <clears throat> I want a house waiting on recession. Yeah, I want a house too, but I th I do feel like it would... Are these upside down? Oh, I feel like it would be worth it to wait. I keep getting two years, but I'm going to do a reading on that. I'm going to do a reading on the economy. Oh, wait, did I do AK's question? I think I did, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, Stephanie's question is, will this money-making opportunity work out? Um, there's a lot of steps with this situation. Like, there's a lot of different steps you have to take, and there's a lot of different things going on with this. I don't know why I feel like, is it, like, does it just, does this deal with marketing or something like that? Um, I feel like it's going to take a while to get the money like you want want to earn, but I feel like I do feel like maybe by next year it's just going to like take some groundwork. All right, but I do see that by February or March of next year, maybe even before then, probably the turn of the new year, I feel like it's going to pay off quite a bit. So whatever this money making opportunity is, it's going to it's not going to give you immediately the money results you would like, but I feel like by the end of the year, going into next year, there's going to be more, much more momentum. So I would say stick with it. You're going to have to stick with it. That's what I feel. This is Stephanie, my girlfriend, and I are participating in the month. Yeah, I just answered that question. Did you... 
get it. I said you should go for it, but it's going to take a little while to um, manifest. So you're going to have to stick with it. Okay. I'm also in California. I was thinking about purchasing a three-bedroom tiny house. That might not be a bad idea. Meow. Meow. Fonzie. Fonzie, come here. Come here. Meow. Come here. Come here. Meow. Okay. Guess not. Meow. Yeah, does that make sense? Come here. Oh, it deals with marketing. Is that what you're saying? Yes, it is, too. I would say go with it, but it's going to take a while to get the money you would like. I, I see more momentum. More momentum with, um, like, early next year. It's a susu. What's a susu? I don't know what that means. But that's what I feel. Yeah, that's what I feel. Come here. This is Fonzie, everybody. Say meow -y. Meow. <laughs> she hates being picked up. You look so weird. I'm not taking you to the bathroom. I'm not putting you in the bathtub. You're not getting a bath. I think that's why he doesn't like being picked up. He thinks he's going to the bathroom. One time out. You're welcome, <laughs> bonjour. Okay, if you're just gonna, did I miss Christy Teigen's tweets? You did. I'm about to sign off though, so you can watch the rerun. All right. Meow. Meowy. Meow. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Please. Get down. Oh my god, do you guys see him? Get down, Fonzie. Meowie, thank you. Susu is like a savings pyramid. Oh, okay. I did kind of feel like a pyramid kind of thing. That's why I said like marketing, but I don't know. I feel like, like I'm going to stick to what I said. That's what I feel. You're going to have to keep with it. That's what I feel like you should do. Okay. Whether it's a pyramid or not, honey, that's what I see. Okay. Does that make sense? That is, that is what it is, honey. But yeah, I've never heard of Susu. So how is the economy looking like for the rest of the year? I'm going to do a reading on that. All right, you guys, I'm out. Right, you're right, it's financial. Okay, yeah, that's what I felt. Okay, you guys, I'm going to sign out. It's been fun. Thank you for listening and watching. This has been the Chrissy Teigen Live. This was an interesting live. Um, thank you for listening and watching. There is no love lost here, you guys. Um, if I stepped on some toes, if someone stepped on my toes... It's all good. I'm not bothered. I'm sleeping like a baby at the end of the day, okay? And I hope you are, too. With that being said, love and light, and thank you for listening and watching. And um, we'll have a new topic next week or um, tomorrow, maybe. All right? We'll have to see how I feel. But with that being said, remember, if you would like a personal reading, once again, my website is lamartownsintero.com. I am available for personal readings, and I would love to read for you, Okay. So once again, if you would like a reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. Remember, follow me on my Instagram. You can also hit the schedule now button to become a member or to, I'm sorry, to um, schedule your reading with me. Also, you can go to my store section and directly purchase your reading from my store section. All right. 
Follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my TikTok. Make sure you hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Thompson Tarot. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Definitely a new fan. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie, for following. Okay. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Let me make sure you guys like the video. Lamar with Uranus and Taurus, and I have Taurus in the second house, and Jupiter is at 19. Okay, yeah. I say go with it. You know, that's what I feel. You should watch Out of the Shadows official on YouTube. Okay. Susu is an old way of rotating money among people. Africa's Latinos and Asians have been doing it for years. Okay. The energy will be better next time. Good night. Yeah, the energy, your lucky planet is Taurus. Yeah, that's Taurus is the planet of money. Taurus is the second house. Those are our personal finances and our personal belongings. So, like I said, go for it. You know, do it. Just know that it's going to take some time to get the results you would like, according to what I see. Okay. But let me know how that goes. Um, bonjour. Stephanie is actually bon bonjour's. One of my client, my regular clients. So I'm sure I'll be hearing about this soon. Okay, now it goes. But um, I love y'all. Let me go. Um, the energy will be better next time. You know, I think sometimes it, it's a hit or miss, you guys. It is what it is. But content is content. So love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video.